It's time for our April 2019 plan with me. The theme this month is bright sunny lemons and to create this cover page we'll do some illustration with cross hatching and line shading and I can't wait to share it with you. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Shada Campbell and on this channel I do art and journaling tutorials so make sure to subscribe if you're new here. And I can't believe it but it's already time for our April 2019 plan with me and the theme that I'm doing this month that we are doing is lemons. Lemons I think are just sunshine and spring and fresh and all those good adjectives um, and dare I say I think they're pretty simple to illustrate and I'm going to take you through the drawing process step by step so that we're all on the same page. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is sort of push my illustration forward a little. This is for the cover page, by the way. Um, I'm going to push my illustration forward with line shading and cross hatching. And that can really elevate your illustration, that sketchy look. But it's not difficult. It's just really about understanding it and taking the time to do it. And I know myself, I can really be a perfectionist when it comes to my journal, but our journals really are the best place to practice our doodling and our drawing. So we're going to do a bit of that today. And if the shading and cross hatching is not your thing, I'm also going to show you where you can stop this cover page illustration and kind of take it further with markers. So lots of options. I've got lots of other stuff I'm excited to share. A new weekly layout that showed up in the Bujo Inspo video and a gift ideas page because I always think of good ideas for, to give people as gifts. And then of course I forget it when they're birthday comes around. So I am making a gift ideas page so that I can be organized at birthday time. Okay, let's just get started. And as usual, you can print my lemon themed cover page for your own planner. All the channel bonus content is available on my Patreon site for two bucks a month. All right, I'm gonna get started. Now I am using a barren fig journal. I just love the way the pen doesn't bleed through the pages. And for 2019, I've done a lot of cutout or window pages. I'm very big on sort of minimal botanicals. That's the March cover page. In case you're new here, we did some Lysianthus. Um, so lots of floral illustrating and then just simple calendar pages. Um, my weekly layouts change almost every month. I really like the March ones. Um, they're very sort of concrete with lots of borders and floral that's this week we're sort of in mid-march right now so I'm right in the middle there and as I said I'm using a barren fig journal uh, they don't pay me to say that I uh, just think they have the best paper but I'd really love to know what journal is your favorite who has the best dot grid the best paper comment below and let me know and let's get a conversation started Anyways, let's skip over to April and I am doing a lemon themed cover page. I've sketched it all out. The way we do these window pages is to mark eight squares in on this page and then the page below mark that same uh, in eight squares in and then of course lay the goals and focus area underneath and eventually we'll cut away that portion of the top page and we'll have our little calendar below. So let's start in pen so that you can really see what I'm doing. I am using the black liner from Aloto, uh, the 0.1 millimeter nib, which is a nice nib, a <laughs> good size, the Goldilocks for me, definitely. And I've already done my pencil drawing, so what I'm going to do now is go over the stems, branches, leaves, and lemons in pen, do a nice contour drawing, and then from there we can either add marker for color or we can add all our cross hatching and line shading. And I just want to take a second to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes in subjects like photography, watercolor painting, design, business, and more. Premium membership gives you unlimited access to high quality classes from experts working in their fields so you can improve your skills, unlock new opportunities and do the work you love. And it's also more affordable than most learning platforms out there. An annual subscription is less than 10 bucks a month. And as usual, I have an offer for you. The first 500 people to use the link in my video description will get a two month free trial. So the contour drawing is really coming together, but I want to take a second to show you how to draw all these elements so that you can repeat this in your own bullet journal if you like. 
So start with the stem, your branch, I guess. It can be going any which way. Mine's sort of coming down onto the page. Then where you draw a lemon, just do a little oval. You don't have to get the lemon shape and do an axis, like do a line so that you can have equal parts of that oval on both sides of the line. Uh, you can put these little lemon blossoms just about anywhere. And then I like to put some leaves in and around the lemons. And I just do the leaf shape first, and then I add uh, some more details. So leaf shape first, and then I'll do those scalloped edges on the side and all the veining. So don't try to do everything at once. If you want to draw a lemon, start with the oval, then go around and sort of add the little nubs that are on each end. And again, you can put those little blossoms anywhere. The leaves can all be different shapes. Some might be curving um, and the lemons can be just about anywhere. Again, axis, then oval, and then you add those little nubs. And just keep drawing in branches and continuing to add leaves and little blossoms and maybe one or two more lemons. You don't wanna to go too heavy on the lemons. It could start to look a little crazy, but that's the idea. I'll go over it in pen so that you can really see what I'm doing. And then in our sketchbook for practice, we'll also try a little bit of line shading and cross hatching so that I can kind of show you a little bit of that, of that here as well. And you should practice this on scrap paper if you're worried about messing up in your bullet journal. So there's our contour drawing. We're gonna get all, rid of all the pencil, erase it all away. And now that we have a nice clean contour drawing, that's just a line drawing without any shading, we're gonna decide where our light source is. I kind of took that off the page, but the light is coming from the right hand side, the upper right. So that means the left side of a leaf might be a little darker. So we're gonna add lines closer together and they don't have to be perfect. After all, this is just a journal illustration. Like you can spend as much or as little time on it as you like. Uh, so you can see I'm doing the darker left-hand side of each leaf. And then with the lemons as well, I'll add all these lines and I'll do uh, cross hatching, which is lines that intersect at an angle to create shading. But I'll also scribble a little bit. I get very messy with it and I'll do some dots to to show the texture of the lemon. A good tip is to make the lines of your shading go in the direction of the object, whether it's the lemon or the leaf, let those lines follow their subject. Okay, let's do one more sort of lemon round because I'm gonna do that in my bujo this month as well. So start with a circle that has a border or a thick edge, all dark. Then we draw another circle within it. And then you're just gonna do an X with a cross through it for six segments. And then you just do this really light sketchy lines to show the look of the citrus and maybe a few teardrop shapes as well. A little circle in the middle and you get this very loose citrus. So we might use that as some decor in our journal as well. Okay, back to the book. I am going to write Hello Sunshine. I always try to write some sort of monthly positive message. Um, sunshine and lemons. I don't know, I guess I just associate those, but I'm gonna get rid of all the pencil lines and start my line shading. Now I use the uh, nib, the 0.1 millimeter for my contour drawing, and I'm gonna use the 0.05 millimeter, that smaller nib for a lot of that cross hatching and line shading. So it's always good to drop down a nib size or two if you have a set of pens where you can choose to do that. So I'm gonna start by doing some really simple line shading on the inside of each blossom. Uh, so just start with that. And then we're gonna do those leaves just the way we did on the practice piece. The one side can be a little darker. It's not a bad idea too to practice again in pencil if you're like, I'm not really sure how I'm gonna shade this lemon. Go over it in pencil, then get rid of the lines again and then continue forward with the pen. But a lot of mine are very scribbly. My overall illustration got a little darker than I probably meant for it, but I don't know, it looks kind of cool. Uh, there's something about cross hatching and line shading that looks so professional or something, like very high-end illustration, <laughs> but it's just fun to do and especially if you have some time like we've been flying a lot lately so we've had a, I've had a lot of time to work in my bullet journal and doodle away and try new things so travel is always great for that um, but yeah you can just see me shading where I think I might need a little extra shadow and uh, some areas are much lighter I think the important thing here is to achieve some contrast so keep some of the lemons really light make 
some of the leaves really dark and it's that beautiful dark and light that makes the whole illustration pop. And as I said, try to move your line shading with the shape of the object, except for in those tiny center blossoms. Um, and you're gonna have a, a gorgeous illustration when you're all done. And again, you can stop when you get to the point uh, where you have a contour drawing, a line drawing, and you can just add marker. And actually marker plus uh, shading looks really good too. That can really elevate uh, your drawings that you're just coloring in. Okay, so that is our Hello Sunshine lemon themed cover page. I'm just shading in a couple extra areas. And now what I need to do is cut along that line. And I'm gonna use a little pair of embroidery scissors to do that. And I'll also probably get in there with an X-Acto knife and a cutting mat. Um, yeah, I always do that off camera because it's so finicky. <laughs> but that's what it looks like. I'm super happy with that and now we are gonna flip that page and I am gonna work on this uh, page underneath, the calendar page. So I always write the uh, month number, like April's the fourth month and the abbreviation. And I do that by simply lying down uh, a height line and a baseline and kind of giving myself a little area to work within so that I can create really uniform numbers and I always do it in pencil first. Now they never turn out perfect, but I want them to look sort of um, like I stenciled them in, but honestly, I should probably just get a stencil already one of these days. And I always place my calendar, again, do that in pencil first and then go over it with my smallest nib pen. And I am really loving the way the goals and focus looks underneath. And I've been doing that for the last three months. And I just write sort of my affirmations for that month under focus. And then goals are always kind of like a big monthly to-do list. The ones from last month, I'm moving a lot forward from March into April because March was a bit like eaten up with traveling and, and friends. So that's okay. We'll move those goals forward. Um, I get super, super close to the book when I do those colored in letters. Does anyone else do that? Put their head like right down near the page. <laughs> um, but that's all done. I put another lemon um, underneath there just to carry that theme into the rest of the monthly layout. And now I'm going to do another calendar page. I don't want to spend too much time on this because I do it every month, but I always lay the grid out and I go over over it in pen, just pulling that pen towards my body to keep my hand steady and the lines fairly straight. And it kind of looks like planets right now, but I'm gonna do lemons up at the top there across the header. And this is just the calendar where I keep track of all the YouTube videos that I'm gonna put out that month and uh, when they're coming out. And I'm gonna keep a little bit of uh, May, the first week of May in there as well. And that's what it looks like when it's all done, kind of crazy sketchy lemons. Okay, let's talk about that gift ideas page that I mentioned at the start of the video because I need this page so bad, you guys. I always think of great gifts for friends and family and then I completely forget when it's crunch time. So I am doing a very, very loose border, like just making it almost look like a, a scrap piece of paper is sitting on top of this page. Uh, just did a simple cursive for the gift ideas title and then I'm doing a corner of flowers, a little floral motif just across one corner, like a floral spray is always good design in my books and I've just done it in pencil first and then I'm going over it in pen adding some veining to the leaves a little bit of line shading to one side of each leaf and a little bit of extra line shading in the center of each flower to really make them pop but it's such a simple design it took me 10 minutes to create that page and then I'm just gonna write in all my family members uh, and friends it's really about the family especially because that's who I do the secret Santas with at Christmas and we're visiting and I always want to be thinking ahead, thinking ahead for those good thoughtful gifts. So yeah, that's the gift ideas page. Super fun thing to have in the journal. And let's move on to the weekly layout. As I said, I've been switching up those weekly layouts every month. And if you watched my Bujo inspo video from this month, I did my three favorite weekly spreads and I covered the one that I'm gonna be using for April, which is this one, where you lay out all the days of the week with lines, looks really clean, but you leave this space in the center of the page and that is there for you to put a nice illustration. You've got your little calendar up top so you can always know what day it is. I always need that calendar, I find. I used to not do it because I thought they were tedious, but I find them very helpful. So I'm gonna lay that out. I'm gonna finish this page with a little washi tape for decoration. And then I actually was hoping that you guys could vote and tell me what uh, thing you would like to see in the center of this page. 
for this weekly spread should I illustrate daffodils, ferns, or violets? Comment below and let me know what you think. And then uh, visit me on Instagram because I will draw that live on Instagram on Wednesday, March 27th, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, guys, that's it for me this week. I'm super happy with that cover page. I just love the cross hatching and the lemon theme is sunny and bright. And of course I have my typical calendar. I'm loving this April weekly layout because it allows me to do a large scale illustration. And then the gift ideas, that is just gonna be so handy. And I'm never gonna be without a gift idea again. <laughs> All right, guys, well, thank you for watching today. And of course, thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring our video. If you're interested in trying Skillshare, be sure to click the link in my video description. If you're one of the first 500 people, you'll get two months free. Um, I'm just browsing through my uh, homepage and clicked on the fine arts section of Skillshare and you can see all these great videos come up on watercolor theory and florals. I've been meaning to do a color theory video, but it's a big subject and I haven't gotten around to it. So there's some really uh, great classes here that I think you guys would really love. Um, painting a winter snowscape, lots of florals and then of course you can choose your subject whether you want to look at sketching or drawing or watercolors or photography um, there's just so so many relevant classes so check out Skillshare click the link in the video description thank you guys for watching today uh, comment below and let me know what you're doing in your bujo this month I can't wait to hear and I will see you soon with a new tutorial